At WrestleMania 40, history was made. Cody Rhodes finished the story. Saying that it's one of the greatest WWE moments of all time is not doing it any justice. Sometimes you just imagine how a certain wrestling moment would go down and it just feels so great when it exceeds your expectations. This is perhaps the greatest WrestleMania moment of all time. I know it's not cool to say that something recent is the greatest, but this is not just a great wrestling storyline. It's real life. It had everything and uh, I think WWE did an amazing job. I know a lot of people are going to be watching this video so I just want to thank you for sharing this experience with me because I've been doing this for over 10 years now and uh, this might be the greatest moment since then so uh, thank you very much and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> 1316 days as champion came to an end. And this video of Roman and Paul having their moment uh, definitely hits you in the feels. The thing is, I hope people are going to remember Roman Reigns as the greatest WWE champion of all time. And here's the thing. He may talk about certain records that he didn't break, but it's like, people need to understand it's a different era. It's not a fair comparison, especially Bruno Sammartino. It was a different time, and with the stacked roster that we have, with the attention spam of a... Well, you get what I'm trying to tell you. Like People don't like to pay attention anymore. And the fact that he still held that championship for such a long period of time... He's the GOAT, man. He's the absolute GOAT, and uh, I hope that people are going to remember Roman Reigns as uh, the greatest WWE Champion of all time, because he definitely deserves that title. The moment of Roman Reigns eating the pin and smiling, just, just beautiful stuff. Now, obviously, full review is coming just a little bit later, but I just really wanted to talk about this, because this is historic. This is absolutely historic and uh, I just want to talk about how great this moment was. This is a perfect example in my opinion of what a main event of Wrestlemania should be. This was not just a wrestling match, this was a conclusion, this seemed like a conclusion of the previous era. I mean we got all the appearances and it's because this is bigger than anything else. This is bigger than just a championship match. This seemed like fighting for the WWE, fighting for what's right. The match was great, crowd loved it. Jimmy interfered, Jay took care of it. We got Solo, John Cena came out, he has history with Solo, obviously. The Rock came out, Rock and Cena in the same ring at the same time. On paper, it may sound like they're taking something from Cody, all the attention, but I feel like it's a complete opposite. You know, people, it's really hard to explain, but that's really how I felt. It felt like this guy is going to carry the WWE, and it's unfair what is happening in the ring, so we might as well just help. I mean, we even got The Undertaker. <laughs> the three count was beautiful. Knowing the history of Cody and his dad, and Samantha crying while announcing the winner. Just pure emotions, and again, I know it, it may sound cringy, but fuck it, man. I love professional wrestling. It, it, it Dude. I'm, I feel blessed that a form of entertainment can get that emotion out of me. Having the baby faces celebrating with Cody, Michael Cole crying, it felt like this was the greatest Michael Cole's moment of his, uh, you know, WWE career. You can even go a step further, like the men who were in the ring with Cody, they have a lot of history. For example, guys like Randy Orton. Randy was like a mentor to Cody, you know, back when we had Legacy. And now, he's the man. And Randy gets to celebrate, well, with his rookie kinda. And that's what I also liked about this moment. They allowed the moment to breathe. It wasn't just Cody winning the championship bye-bye. We got a big chunk of time of Cody just celebrating and, you know, just taking it in. We even got Bruce Prichard. We got Triple H. And again, there's so much emotion. So much was told in that ring even after the match. And, you know, I just can't even describe how excited I am to put out this video, for example. You know, I... Lovely, lovely stuff, man. Lo lovely stuff. Even if you were rooting for Roman Reigns, you, you can't deny that this, this, holy shit. And again, big props to Roman Reigns. I don't know what is next for our tribal chief. This was a big moment for everybody, you know, and uh, I don't know what's next for Cody, what's next for Roman Reigns, but I'm really excited about the next chapter of Roman Reigns' story. I watched the press conference and again, Cody is just real. He can blur these lines between fiction and reality, and I don't even know if he's trying. He's just that guy. And, you know, he talked about his dad, and um, I think he was asked, what would you tell your dad? And I think he said, I hope I lived up to your name, and thanks for the name, right? Beautiful stuff. Raw right after WrestleMania is going to be wild. It's just going to be wild. Uh, again, the review is coming later. I, I just really needed to put this out there. You know, this is historic. 
And uh, I don't know, I hope that we will get a moment like this in the future. But I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. So people, we're in the new era of the WWE. And you can only hope it's going to deliver. Thank you for watching. The Great One, peace, love and hugs. It's been a pleasure. Bye.